Welcome back, everybody, to another edition of Bitch, I Got My Pots. Today, we're doing a little different. I'm doing a little Caribbean thing. So what I do today, I'm making my red beans and rice. That's right, my red beans and rice. Well, the first time I made this, they went crazy about it. And they asked me, what did I buy it at? That's why I knew I had to continue doing it. Now, in my red beans, not rice, I make sure I use the fresh veggie jelly bottles. I think that's how the island said, veggie jelly bottles. That's how the island boy said. My fresh thyme, I add my red beans, a little coconut milk, rice, some browning. And you can't never forget that number one ingredient, that Sunday seasoning. Remember, if you're in town, make sure you stop by Sunday season. We are the home of the original fried ribs. It's been often imitated, but never duplicated. I heard you fools out there making a damn fool of yourself trying to sell them soggy ass fried ribs. And no, I don't boil them, just to let you know. It's very important that we learn the uh, the traditional way, the, the traditional way of how people eat, cook, and think in the Caribbean because we are multicultural. And a lot of our local heroes and stars, a lot of our local, majority of our community are from another country or, or, or a different island in its own. Of course, you know, we got the Bahamians. We got Trinidadians, Haitians. We got Guyanese. We got, uh, people from Jamaica, we got Cubans, the Colombians, we got people from Ecuador. I met somebody from El Salvador yesterday. We got the Mexicans, and then you got us niggas from South Carolina, Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. But for the most, Miami's multicultural. You can find a restaurant on any block, on any given day, that supports your culture, your, your, the food of your liking. And it's very important you remember that. You know, I remember back in the days when, when the Haitian president was Duvalier, he was mistreating all the Zos and treating them like a piece of shit. The Zos done came a long way. Stop, I say to all my Haitian niggas, y'all done came a long way, man. And uh, that's what it's about. For y'all who don't know, Haiti, Bahamas, Jamaica, places like that, those are drop off spots. Yeah, the, those slaves couldn't make it. Those were the rebellious slaves. And those people had it had it bad. Even though Haiti is a part of the Democratic Republican, the Democratic Republic, it don't seem like it because they treat them like a piece of shit. And don't never get it twisted when they show Haiti on TV and you all you see is the rubbish, all you see is the homeless and the poor. All Haiti is doesn't look like that. Haiti is beautiful in itself. They're beautiful Haitian people. They're smart and heroic Haitian people. That's why I have to tell a lot of uh, a lot of my Haitian friends. All I'm saying, zo, 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 zo. All y'all not zoes now. You're not a zo unless you're a warrior. Unless you take care of your family. Unless you take care of your people, your kind. Then you become you become a zo. So for all my future zoes, you got to keep up the culture, man. Now I don't put my rice on. I'm browning my chicken because. I'm making curry chicken today. I'm browning my chicken, getting it nice and, and tender. At first, before I put it all together, um, as usual, I got a, a, a very, very controversial and legendary guest today. And we, we just gonna do our thing, man. I'm gonna continue on with this here. And uh, if you ain't following, Go ahead and hit that follow button. Go and subscribe. Do whatever you need to do. And you got an input about the show. We like we read all the comments. We want to know your input. Matter of fact, coming up in a couple months, I got a hood a hood cook off. That's right. For all y'all think y'all can beat me cooking, and if you niggas ain't 70, 80 years old, sit down. 
because I don't see you. But all your barbecue stands and all your moms and pop restaurants, all your black owned businesses want to enter into contact and at your own risk. If you look to the bottom of the screen, you'll see the website. You go ahead and register today. We'll let you know all the requirements, when it's going down. It's going to probably be a concert, slash car show, slash cook off. All hosted by me, Trick Daddy Dollars. Y'all stay tuned. I'll be right back. The bitch, I got my pot. I'm Tamara, and this is another episode of Trick Daddy's Bitch, I Got My Pots. The next rapper is one of the hottest in the game right now, and not only does his name ring in the music business, he is also very hot in the gossip sector. You know on the blogs with his controversial relationship with his girlfriend, Ari Fletcher. He has one platinum album called Against This Pain, but like I always say, unlike back in the day, artists sell more singles than full bodies of work. So here are the top five highest selling money bag yo singles of all time in the United States. Number five, You Played featuring Lil Baby. It was released on January 3rd, 2020, and it went platinum on November 29th, 2021. And of course, when two of the hottest rappers in the game get together to do a record, it's gonna be a hit. Number four, Time Today. It was released on February 3rd, 2021, and it went platinum on June 23rd, 2021. And Bag wanted to let y'all know that he wasn't the one nor the two on this track. Number three, Me Versus Me, released May 8th, 2020, and it went platinum on April 15th, 2021. And the Memphis rapper laid out his struggles and issues while listing the do's and don'ts to the street game. Number two, All That, featuring Megan Thee Stallion. It was released on October 10th, 2019, and it went platinum on July 10th, 2020. And I know y'all remember when these two were a couple. And they had the internet in shambles when they released this collab. Fun fact, this song also samples Project Pat's, ooh, nothing, you know, for the OGs that know. Huh, hold up. I thought somebody said something about number one. We got said something. It was released on June 30th, 2020, and it went two times multi-platinum on April 15th, 2021. And this song was already a certified hood hit, but once he put the City Girls and the Baby on it, it went crazy and you couldn't go to any club without hearing it. And remember, this list is not an opinion. It is based on album sales in the United States. Facts, courtesy of the RIAA. And my favorite song by Bag is No Cut. What's yours? Jump in the comments and tell us. And either way, I'm Tamara, and this has been another Top 5 on Trick Daddy's Bitch, I Got My Pot. Welcome back to Bitch, I Got My Pot, another edition. Me just get, me kicking it, going back to the trend, going back to the style, Dade County style, the bubble head club, the dicky with the scully, that's what Dade County diggers do. Yeah, that's Dade County all day. When it comes to the music scene, a lot of people tell me, you know, Trick, thank you for putting us on the map. I could never, would never take the credit for that because there was niggas before me, niggas that inspired me. You see, when I was born, I was just born in Jackson Memorial Hospital. I was born as Baby Boy Brockerton. That's my mama last name. I later became a kid growing up in the project, what made me a project kid. Then it became the dumb daughter of the dunk riders, cause I was driving them Chevys, running, running up, taking their ass up through there with a 383 stroker with the spray. And before I was, was the Eater Booty Gang, president and CEO and founder, I was a Pac Jam junkie. That's right, for y'all don't know the culture, Pac Jam was a teen club that was originated on 54th Street and 12th Avenue. Just about a mile south of the Poker Bean Project. The, not only that, we embrace the culture of all music from all around the globe. We play every kind of music. When they wasn't playing our music, we was playing their music. When they wasn't respecting us, we was respecting their music. And thanks to people like ghetto style DJs, thanks to Triple M DJs, thanks to people like Jam Pony DJs, DJs like Uncle Al, uh, Disco Dave, and Cadillac Shorty, Amazing C, Slick C, and Master Blaster. Thanks to those DJs. Thanks to places like the Bay Station and, 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 and the heart of the city. Thanks for places like African Square Park and 15th Avenue and Liberty Square Park. Thanks to play events like the Goombay and Overtown Come Alive. Thanks to things like that. 
that we had a culture, something that we love, something that we embrace, and something that we really, really cared for. Now, I know a lot of people in the West Coast try to take credit for the 808 bass sound. Nah. And y'all DJs are just popular niggas. Y'all DJs ain't necessary niggas like our DJs. My next guest was a DJ. Actually ended up being my form of Jesus Christ when I was released from prison. Somebody that gave me a chance. My first feature ever was with this man. I used to call him Captain. Now we call him Uncle. He's like a big brother, an uncle, a mentor. Y'all give it up, my next guest, the legendary Mr. Nasty Man himself, Uncle Luke, all right? My brother, my Dick, brother. what's going on? Man? I mean, I you, a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of the younger people don't know, Luke, that my first time ever in the studio was because of you. They wasn't at the Pack Jam when me and Red Eyes <laughs> battled for <laughs> an hour and a half. An hour and a half. And it exactly. was like, now when this nigga here gonna stop? Right. They don't understand that you knew that I was still in the streets once I got out. And you said, in order for you to really, for me to take you serious, you're gonna have to come with me. Exactly. Started off going on the road, then I never went home. I ended up staying with you for over a year. Exactly. We stayed together. Could y'all imagine that? Me and this motherfucker staying together. Could y'all imagine that? I want to give you your flowers. I want to say thank you for everything. It wasn't for you, wouldn't be no me. I want to thank you for the, the DJ. And I want to thank you for the part of representing Liberty City. Everything you do for the youth. I'm going to give you your flowers now. But I, cause I don't like when niggas... When niggas get old or something tragic happen and niggas get sick of past, everybody would want to quick to put them on their social media page and yeah, say how yeah. much they miss them and how much they love and appreciate. If somebody out there that you love, appreciate, and know that you wouldn't have made it without us, give them flowers right now. That's right. That's important. That's a important. lot of people don't know your background, Luke. No, they don't know that. But that's, but that's why it's important for you to uh, bring me on your show right here and let them know. Did you tell them, you know, all the girls that you used to have sex with in the, in the uh, condo? Well... I, I did, and I could honestly say that <laughs> Luke did bring a lot of girls for me to have sex with. No, no, with. no. You went and got the girls. <laughs> I went and got from girls from the little school that was next door. <laughs> the art school. The art school. The, yeah, the art school. I had a, I had a bitch from a room. That bitch is so pretty. <laughs> Damn, that bitch is pretty. Man, you you bring it back memory. <laughs> what a lot of y'all don't know is Luke is of Bahamian descent. Yes. And, and you wouldn't think of it in a million years. What projects he came from? That's right. You gotta let him know, Dick. Hey, look at man. You know, I'm I'm straight out of Liberty City, but my old girl is uh, Bahamian. My dad is Jamaican, so I see you cooking some some uh, island food right here. I'm cooking you know, this curry chicken. I see that. See, one day we at our house we used to have peas and rice. One day, and the next day we had rice and peas. And, 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 and what's the difference of that? See, it, it, the difference is one island likes peas and rice, and the other island call it like rice pigeon, and peas. Pigeon peas and rice right. is, is a Bahamian dish. And then rice and peas is what they call it. It's basically the same thing uh, uh, from the Jamaican standpoint. So you had to eat like that at my crib. Every day. Every day. You go, and you're going to get a lot of rice. Oh, you're going to get a lot of rice. You're going to get a hell of rice. Man, what you did for the culture, what you did for the city, and I can remember the the, the, the discount double check that Aaron Rodgers do. Yeah, 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 yeah. You did that, <laughs> and, 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 and your obscenity and your obscenity trial. Yeah. You did that when you won. Yeah, y'all don't remember that. See, they don't know. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know. You been did that. They don't and know it. why they could cuss on the record. They just cussing on the record. Yeah, y'all just cussing on the record, saying anything y'all want because this man took it to the Supreme Court and went to trial. Yep. Went to trial, had he lost trial, we would not be able to cut. Motherfuckers like the Lord's Tucker and all of them would have won and nobody, there wouldn't be no Luke and no Trick standing here talking to y'all. No, no, no kill that baby, that baby ain't mine. Kill you that baby, you, that you baby would, ain't mine. You wouldn't yeah, be able to say that anymore. I wouldn't be able to say that. <laughs> and, and this was the time you put, and you really rub it in. You you all the disrespectful comedian, the Rudy Ray Moore, and then he, <laughs> I, I remember that, um, with, um, Dolomite. Dolomite say, 
Uh, uh, he was talking to my girl, was it Esther? Yeah, on Esther. On Esther, he was talking to Esther. And I said, well, what do you want? He said, ah, oh, bitch, you know what I want. I said, well, give me a piece of damn pussy. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that got you right, right? Man, I, I mean, I, man and you know, I, I, I went to Holmes Elementary as it is, right? So I'm at Holmes Elementary. Holmes Elementary? I, Holmes Elementary. Oh, Holmes I'm Elementary. at Holmes Elementary where oh, in the fifth grade they pick at I, you if you was a virgin. I thought he said Holmes Elementary. So I got, my, I got my beat box <laughs> and I'm walking down the street and I went top past Miss Vicky house because Miss Vicky was 90. You know, we get our ass whooped for disrespecting the old ladies That's right. back then. And I, I went down past me, Vicky has, I put that radio on. Somebody say, hey, we want some pussy. <laughs> and I'm like, did you hear this nigga? Everybody, everybody was able to be whatever they want to be. And a lot of people don't know that. They don't know. My daddy at the time had a record label. Yep, yep, yep. My daddy was not only a street nigga, was not only a drug dealer, a pimp, was not only a gambler and a robber, but my daddy was a record exec, but he also had a pressing plan. And a lot, a lot, a lot of people give credits to Master P. Yep, yep, yep. But you see this shit he got on? He <laughs> sold that shit by the hundreds of thousands. He made this shit and sold this shit on his own by the hundreds of thousands when nobody didn't even think of, when nobody didn't care to wear a shirt that says two live crew or nasty as you want to be. He signed every artist from the South, from, from, the, crib. from the crib first with uh, LaJuan Love, yep. JT Money, then the Poison Clan, and Quiet. You signed all of them from the crib. All of them. And Trick then, Daddy. Trick Daddy. Pitbull. You signed Pitbull. All I got, these uh, you, you and, you and uh, Pitbull, y'all was gangsters. We was we was really. You know, we was I, the I, real, I was trying to say y'all. Y'all was. Yeah, nice. we was the real. We was really street. We was really on the street <laughs> shit. <laughs> really on the street. We really shit. had life fucked up. I, I can honestly <laughs> say that me and Pitt really had life fucked up. And, and, and like I said, Luke, Luke, thanks to you, man. I appreciate everything you did. Thanks to you. Y'all got to know when the first time I met this dude, he had a stack of. He just got out of prison. He had a stack of. Uh, lyrics. Say, man, I do. I'm doing all these songs and shit. And I was like, motherfucker, he don't do no goddamn songs. He had a stack. You remember that? Yeah, you still got that book? I, I, well, I got what, well, what, well, uh, I gave, I gave. Uh, Atlantic Records got some for something that they're doing, and Slip and Slide got some, um, some of them. But the most, the mo most of them, I, don't, I don't lost them over the years. But what it was, see. The pressing plant that was pressing up his records was pro quality pressing, was my daddy pressing plant. That's right. So you couldn't tell me I knew how much money that this nigga was making because <laughs> I know what we were charging him to press the records up. Exactly, exactly. And, and, and I went to the warehouse to drop off some of his records one day and I walked in the back. That's when, that when um, your office was on 8400 North Second Avenue. Yeah, the pack jam. The, 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 the new in the pack, pack jam. In the new pack jam. And I walked in there and they opened up that gate and I said, what the fuck? <laughs> this bitch looking like Walmart and Amazon before it even before we even knew about it. And you were selling your own shit. So I, with me telling you I could rap, you like, man, whatever. You could rap, let me hear you rap. Exactly, this dude here had a bottle. Him and, him and Red, Red Eyes. Oh my God, that was the hardest shit I ever did. <laughs> me and Red Eyes. I think I got him with the same line you told me I had to put in the um in the Scar record. That bang, 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 bang. Oh, you was like, that's it right there. Yeah, yeah, that was it. You the man. You won. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Hey, I said that bang, bang in that battle. Me and Red Eyes, we've been cool and friends ever since. And we talk about it all the time. But to, to let y'all know, to all y'all young inspired musicians, and I ain't talking about wannabe niggas. I'm talking about inspired. Mm -hmm. I'm inspired. talking about you've been inspired by somebody. Something makes you want to do this. You, you ones that that, that that try, that always dreamed of doing music. I'm talking to you guys. Just what know that, this. Is it dumplings you just put in there? Uh, I have some um, potatoes that I bought earlier. I, I don't, I don't, see, I don't know how to make the dumplings. I just found out, Luke, that dumplings was actually dough, was bread. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought dumplings was something else. Yeah, no, that's dope. See, you know, I used to be a cook. That was my first job. Where that lady who used to cook for us in the condo? Oh, man. shit. We got to find her. We got to find her.
with that motherfucker, that um, that um, that spicy beef that she used to make with the rice. Oh my oh, god! Yeah. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! That's what we um. I ain't, I ain't even. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna drop no names on you. No, don't do that. I ain't gonna okay. drop no names on you. Don't you might that. get a, you might get some old um paperwork brought back up. <laughs> but we had a wonderful time. We used to take me on Monday nights to um, Fat Black Pussy Camp. Fat Black with all the mobsters. Yes, all with all the rich millionaires and billionaires. And Dennis Robin used to wear um, skirts in there then at the time. <laughs> you, you remember that shit? Dennis Robin used to yeah. wear mini skirts in that bin and blowing wigs. I'm like, man, is that Dennis Robin? And Luke just looked at me and laughed. Tell me, you think that's something? It's a lot of weird people in here, but. We went to places like that because they let us be who we were, who exactly. we wanted to be. It wasn't no beef. We just went up in there on Monday night and just got on stage and just fucking turned the place out. You remember your first show? My first show. When you used to go on the road with me, we took you I mean, to what, what, Chicago. What we, I remember Chicago, the first. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. The nigga, the nigga. Okay, first of all, he had the power <laughs> text. He had the, he had the little shit, so I'm watching. I'm watching Derek and Tracy them. They mixing some shit together. I'm like, what the fuck? So Luke was like, don't stand there, stand back. He said, when you get scared, come out. I'm like, what the fuck you mean when I get scared, come out? So after he did, uh, I think it was Breakdown. Yeah. They turned the key and that bitch exploded like a, 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 a nuclear bomb. Boom! <laughs> That bitch came on, Captain D coming. I ain't know, I was scared, boy. I ain't gonna lie, boy. I was scared of the sissy in the in, in the dick factory at that time. I ain't gonna lie. I, oh I was God, nervous, I was shaking, crazy. but the response of the people. They lost their mind. The people lost their mind. And and, 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 I, and I also, well, have, when the last time you seen Verb? I ain't seen Verb in a long time. Thanks to, thanks to Verb, because Verb was not able to do a second verse. Yeah, thanks to Verb, I got two verses. Thanks to Verb, I got no shade, but thanks to Verb, he could not stop cussing. And I got two <laughs> verses on the Scar record. I remember, I remember when you was doing a peep show. You had me write all the porn star bitches. You remember that? Hell yeah! I remember when I first <laughs> seen Adina Howard. I was oh like, that God. motherfucker so sexy. Did you did you have sex with her? No, but you know who wanted to hit me? The um, what the little skinny red when they wanted to hit me? The little, the porn girl, man. Heather Hunter. Heather Hunter. Heather Hunter. I was scared of her. <laughs> I was scared of Heather Hunter. I, Heather I was Hunter scared was of about her. this big. Y'all keep in mind, she was about this big. Talk to him. Tell him where to go. That's the um the man. You can uh, Heather Hunter. You remember when I brought her to the apartment? Yes. I, listen, listen, I've been, listen, man. We had some wonderful times. That's what I'm yes, trying to explain. Remember yeah. when Biggie came to the apartment, to the car? You know, they used that verse from that, from your album on this new song that they got out. When he was like, I like a bitch to suck a dick till I nut, spit it on the gut and suck that shit back yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slut. They used that same verse. Wow. They used that verse on a, on a, on a record. I don't know who record it is. But niggas was like, man, how the hell you know what that song said? I said, man, that song came out in 96. That's right. That's right. I remember when we went to, uh, when we went up there to, uh, we went to Vegas and that club was- you, Yeah, you remember we went to Tupac. Tupac, and, Tupac, and, Tupac um, came out of jail. Snoop, all that. We was in all that shit before Pop died. We was around all these niggas, man. How many guns you had on you when you went? I, look, I had, I made sure that was enough for me and you. Because I seen these niggas in movies. I know how these niggas play. So we so so it was right after the beef with Suge Knight and we was at uh what was it, Jack the Rapper. We had Jack the big old war. At Jack the Rapper, big old fight. So then we our brave ass ends up going to interview Tupac. Did we interview Tupac at the club 662 or 662? 662, they club. We interviewed Tupac. They said, y'all motherfuckers going to their spot. I said, well, I'm taking that, a trip. This, 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 this after Jack the Rapper, <laughs> where Luke done brought B 
big charter buses of niggas out the poker beans on 61st and Scott Price and overtime, and then in Atlanta tearing this shit up. And Luke we said, had to represent the crib. Luke said, we going to Vegas. We interview a pop. I said, shit, I'm going, let's go. This goes to show you real niggas do real things, man. It wasn't, no, everything went smooth, too. No, no, no. In Vegas, we had problems. No, no, it didn't yeah, look like they were setting up for us. It looked like, but you know, we had silly ass Mars Caesar with us at the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had, we had some big niggas, uh, Big Tim. Yep, yep. We had some, we had, we was ready, and then they already knew that me and you was on a whole nother level when it comes to that street shit. Yeah. They didn't understand, they didn't believe that we was actually there. No, no, they could they couldn't they couldn't put their, they couldn't wrap their mind around us being up there. They didn't believe like we just went to war with these niggas. And this nigga is at our club. They were game baby heavy too at the time. Came up in their spot. No, you know Miami niggas. Miami niggas never been no game bangers. It ain't no one nigga ever could say they ran no parts of Miami. No, we was we was all about getting money. We was about getting money and pussy. So you know that cook shit, down. cook shit coming to me. You, you know see, what? you see, yeah, you I know. see, see how that nigga, see how that nigga. You see the wrist work. You, you can tell when a nigga can cook. See, that's 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 when you cooking real Bahamian shit. When the bone, when the meat fall off the bone like that, that's that real Bahamian shit right there. Right you can right tell there. when a nigga can cook. It's all it's in a wrist. Man, yeah. I fucked around and was in here cooking. CO fucked around and grabbed the spoon. CO know how to cook? Hell no. I said CO to buy the, the ingredients. He always get the wrong shit. <laughs> CO can't cook to save his life. God, Hell damn. no. Damn, that's fucked up. All these years CO been right. Man, he CO can't, he can't teach you how to cook. He first, first of all, he did he did the wrong the the ultimate thing he did. Started eating that funny shit, what they call eating healthy. Eating health. Oh, so he went vegan. See oh, old bougie ass nigga. Yeah, I, I don't know where he oh, got that shit, shit from. But I know the oldest people in my family eat the same shit they've been eating all their life. So CO don't eat no ribs? No bob he, oh, he, he don't nah. eat your ribs from Sunday? Hell nah. See, no, you mind. gotta hold that motherfucker down and give him some ribs. Put the ribs in his mouth. CO eat some ass when he eats some ribs. And Get he the fuck a, out of here. Not, not, well, you taught him about eating ass. Yeah, well, well, CO been eating ass for a minute, but oh, not publicly. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Not publicly. Now, see, come on now, see. Let's keep it real. Stop. I know you married it all, too. Yeah. I CO know you used to live in the, in the back room of the, of, the, of the first house we bought. Yeah. yeah. In Miami Lakes. Yeah. He had I know. All, you find all kind of shit when I moved in that house. <laughs> All kind of uh, CO shit he had going on in the back room. CO, CO went to, listen. CO went to America, nigga. I know. You know he had to eat some ass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everything I did nasty is because of you, all the records you made. Who? Trick? You. Trick? You. Oh, okay. I thought it was Trick. Nah, I grew up on you listening to you. <laughs> Wow, my man. But 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 one thing I can say, they don't make them like us, dude. No, they don't make them like us because we was on. You had me on Twitter the other night in the University of Miami room, and I didn't know that Twitter had like these big panels where you could actually go in there and speak and talk to people, and you could get personal and close. Like I didn't know that Twitter was like that because I wasn't a, I wasn't a big Twitter fan. After I started seeing that Donald Trump was using Twitter to lie to the country, I, I thought you voted for Trump. Man, I slapped the shit out of Donald Trump. <laughs> I was slapping the shit out of Donald Trump because what, what he did, he embarrassed even the people that believed in him, even the ones that's going going against him now that was on his side. He embarrassed them to the point where he showed us too much. They tried to tell him, slow down, you're doing too much. When he called George and tried to tell that man to find him 11,000 votes, I know the motherfucker was off his rocker. Right. When his little niece got on TV and testified that Trump said, damn your ass getting fat. Imagine me telling my niece, your ass getting fat, girl. <laughs> yeah. But you know his, his, his put ex wife just died. I seen that. I seen it. They say she died of head trauma. 
Who pushed it downstairs? Man, I know one thing. He under investigating for another shit. I want to look. Man, I don't like. I, 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 yeah. See, that's a real cook. Always clean up behind yourself. You gotta clean up behind yourself. Most cooks go into the people who don't know how to cook. They the shit be dirty, all over the place. They just cook those shit all over the place. But when that motherfucker went to forgetting that he was, and when he told, when he told the people. Take away the metal detector. Let them in with their guns. They ain't for me. The guns ain't for me. <laughs> that was it right there. When you think, said, when you all think you Trump need... beat up the, uh, tried to yoke the, uh, the, they, the secret I, service I, out? I, I, I sure I show believe it. You, really? They said, they said, they testified <laughs> on, in front of the, uh, they said he tried to grab the stern wheel and the secret service grabbed his head. That time he grabbed around his throat. And just so happened, all the recorded phone calls from that day got deleted. Got deleted. Thanks, So it's a conspiracy. Somebody going. Somebody in trouble. I know. I know. I know. Georgia ain't gonna deal with it. You what you think Steve shit. Bannon gonna say? Steve what Bannon testifying. Okay, so remember, remember, he's going to trial for contempt. He's been charged with contempt, which I never knew that you can go that they would have to try you for contempt. Like, it, it's like open and close. Like, okay, you, now that's citizen. It's like the um the little white boy that shot up all the people at Stoneman Douglas. He got a citizen trial. We're spending millions of dollars to try people who we know disrespect the Constitution, disrespect the lives, and, 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 and disrespect everything that we stand for as American citizens. And murder people. If you kill more than two people at one time, you should die in 10 days. Right now. You don't need no trial. 10 days, nigga. You got 10 days, nigga. And you, and, and you, and you confess. And you confess. You pleaded guilty. <laughs> and now they file a, they try to file a mistrial for the sentencing state. Are we really doing this? So now Steve Bannon say, wait a minute, I'll testify. <laughs> So now if you testify in front of Congress and you lie. But you know he gonna lie. But when he lie, he facing more time for perjury than he is for contempt. So what is, what is happening now is they got, a, they got a whole group of people that they investigate that they gonna come, I think by Thursday, with people that told Trump, okay, if I do this, you gotta grant me pardon. No more executive privileges. Now, why am I asking you for pardon, Luke? Yep. I know it's a chance I'm going to jail. You're going to jail. So they they asked him. Pardon, but he got the money first from the, when he was supposed to build a wall. Right. He stole all the money from the people, went to jail, and, and got a And Trump let him out. Right. Grabbing all the money. The money gone, point scene, money lost. Yeah. Trump let a lot of people out now. Trump like Kodak Black out. They say they say that why they say that why yeah they say that why yeah wear the Trump um supporting shirt, but he let me out. Trump pardon you? If I would I I need him to clean my record. If he clean my record, I will take him to the mint. <laughs> <laughs> no no he done mint. now. So we got to get Biden to do that. Uh, we need I need my I, listen. All the problems we have, like the problem we have with Britney Griner, I know fifty real niggas that's in prison. Mm -hmm. That ain't snitch. That ain't molest no kids. That ain't they ain't robbed or assaulted no senior citizens. That did nothing to the Constitution, nothing to hurt our country. They are convicted of surviving, right? right? Let them niggas out. Give us some gun. Give us some of that shit that they got to fight them wars with. And we going over there to get Britney Grind and we take care of Putin while we over there and everybody else. Oh shit! And just clean my record. Really? Just clean my record up. I you gonna go? Care. You gonna go? Uh, I'll get go get Britney him. Grind out I'll of jail. I come back. I will come back oh, with Britney. Oh shit! There you go. I will come back with Britney. See now that that's what rice and beans and peas and rice. It's rice and beans. Rice and beans. See those different kind of beans, people. You gotta understand. Well, Pigeon peas and rice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, these are red beans. Those red beans. That yeah, you got tying in there. That's a Jamaican dish right there. Red beans. So, but hey, man, it's pigeon peas and rice. Yeah. So you was a chef. You also went into politics. Like, would you ever go back into trying to run for like mayor? 
Well, I think it's uh, it's uh, sometimes I, I I think about running for mayor right. because the mayor ain't doing shit right now, especially in Dade County. Exactly. But then you know, I it's 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 uh, it's other shit, Brown. That shit is so much. Yeah, you could be the king maker or the king. Right. The king gonna get shot at all the time. Every time. The king maker, you can you know you can replace the motherfuckers all the time. I need you to be the city manager because I didn't know he could fire the mayor. Oh, 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 oh! In the in the county. Yes, the city mayor. In the in the, the, the city. Well, manager. the county is a strong mayor. Oh, okay. Yeah, the city manager in in uh, Miami, he can fire all the different people from different departments. But I'm fucking with Nikki Freak. Cause she gonna legalize marijuana and gonna give us some gas. license. Give me, yeah, gas, and let us make some money off of it. And not all money. these investors coming from Europe and Russia and all these other places coming here and raising our rent and our mortgage while our people can't, can't even <coughs> afford to live no more. So Nikki Free, like she with what? Legalizing what? gambling. Legalizing weed. Well, two main things that concern us right. is why why them niggas in Atlanta getting all the money is because they got a tax credit. Right. On recording studios, studios like this, you can get a tax credit. You feel me? We don't get yeah, no tax yeah, yeah, yeah. for that. So all these people that you got working production wise, they from Miami. Well, they from South Florida. They all from Miami. So all of them from Florida, right? right. So how how they get all the money in, in Georgia is because they give a tax credit for most of the productions for all the people who are from Georgia. Okay. So you had to basically move to Georgia in order to get that production. So she for that, and then she also for uh, uh, legalizing marijuana. But the important part of legalizing marijuana is if you got a criminal record, most niggas got criminal right. records who sold weed, yeah, right? Yeah. right? You feel me? So you had to get that waived. So she on that, okay, because you got a criminal record, you know we're gonna let we're gonna we're gonna weigh that that uh, weed charge and still allow you to be able to get a license. Wow, you feel me? And so, you know, shit like that bring money into our community. When I when it's, when Cal when the state of California first legalized weed, they taxed weed one billion dollars. Mm -hmm. They taxed it one billion dollars. And imagine how much money came through the economy. Yeah, and you notice when when even when drugs, even when rec when other recreational drugs was being was at its highest point, we had less crime. Yeah, because you couldn't go down 61st, you couldn't go down 15th Ave, or in the Poker Beans or Scott Prize or Lincoln Field or Brown Show with that bullshit because they're getting money there. Yeah, y'all yep, gotta yep. calm down with all the fighting and the shooting because you're gonna bring the police and I can't make no money. Right. So they cracked down on that and they left our kids out here to kill each other with their daddy locked up for selling drugs exactly. Exactly. to feed them. Now their daddy's doing 20, 30 years for selling drugs to feed his kid. And now the kids are here to think and fend on their own and they got social media to raise them. Yep, yep, yep. That's that, crazy. And that's how that shit all break down. Ooh. So you know, that's why, I, you know, in, in politics, I be fucking with people who gonna fuck with our people. King you feel me? And who gonna, who gonna put us in a position to be able to make some money? I don't, I don't know how you feel about it, but being Crump, I don't like the nigga. I think the nigga's the new Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, a nigga that's up front to get a percentage of the family, the other children that get slaughtered and killed by the police. That's what he do, that's his business. He go, he, 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 that's what he do, he go run, you know, he fly all over the place on his big plane, and if you, if a motherfucker shoot you, you know, the police shoot you, he get a, he get a check. Why he can't be proactive? Where he at now? He, he, no, he going where the people who get checks. If you, if your child, I gets, told you, he get, he get checks. Bring Ben Crump on here. I will bring him on. I'm I gotta, know. I gotta I see that show. I, I ain't see fun that of you, nigga. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring him on. And yeah, he, he get getting free. checks. He got, he got, a, he got a business. You know, he, he, he you know, he trapping. He trapping dead people. Yeah. Boy. Well, it's, it's, it's crazy, but that's exactly what he doing. He trapping. He found a niche. What else you call it? See, I don't know what to say. He found a niche. Now, how the the culture thing going? The culture, oh man, these young these young folks, these young folks. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Well, well, they, they, they say, um, look, they call me an old head. How the fuck, I'm an old head. Yeah, you're old head. You're definitely old head. I ain't no motherfucker. I won't fuck. I'll fuck their sister before I fuck their mama. So how am I old head? I don't hold know. Hold on, that. hold on. You don't, you don't like older women? Hell no. What the fuck? Hold on. What? How old a woman gotta be? 
She better not be over 35. What? What the hell? 35? Hell no. Nah. Let me tell you something. Them women over 35. Them young yeah. women ain't got no morals. <laughs> You're with Dave Spills. But, right? but the older women got they gotta lower their standard now. They done been fucking niggas for free. They been having sex with niggas they ain't attracted to. They done had babies from niggas. They got four, five baby daddies. They done been in four, <laughs> five marriages. 10, 15 relationships, they done been up, down, they done been gay, they done been straight, they done been butch, they done been queer, they done been everything in the world. Oh and now, God. now they want to tell me, well, a man got to do this for me, and a man got to do this for me. And they got their businesses, and their business ain't profit a nail damn dime because they want to look important. No, I don't want no, no, I thought, no. I thought the older women were more experienced. No, than I that. don't. That's the problem. More experience. I don't. I can't turn back the miles on them pussies. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh shit! You're so you don't like how mileage? Dave Chappelle said that ain't no such thing as some good thirty-six year old pussy. What? <laughs> Y'all can't throw all the motherfucking 35, 36 year old women it's in too, the garbage. You know it's too. You, 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 I heard this from your album. There's two guys in pussy. Good old big ones and, and big, big old good ones. ones. <laughs> I, hey, so I, you gonna blame this shit on me? Yes. Everything. Oh my god. My whole sexual life. And, 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 and a lot of the women that raised the women that I grew up with, they tell them, don't do nothing, don't girl, don't if he can't do nothing for you. That's what the that's what the flaws that came about. So niggas, so the girls start telling the men, the girls start trying to act like they auntie and they grandma. Right. With old hoes from back in the days. Old hoes from back right, in the days. Right. Old hoes that moved from Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia to Florida. Okay. To start over. But they can't turn their mouths back on that pussy. But they come back and start over because if a, if a, if a whole move from Miami to Atlanta or a whole move from she Atlanta to Miami, they still hoes though. <laughs> Cause the path you walk determines your destination. Everything that happened along that route, you can't erase that. But they move the the re, re so guess what? hit reset. They, they move the hit okay, reset. Okay, so they hide. So then what they do is they put the kids to sleep and suck dick. Right? They put the kids to sleep and suck dick. Right? So now they raising the daughters to do what? Don't mess with a nigga unless he can do something for you. And watch how I handle my nigga. Cause guess what? She done caught her nigga fucking off. The, the daughter don't know, the, the grandbaby don't know, granddaddy got four, five other families. She but the young people that eliminated they so do poly, they, do. they do poly relationships no, now. This, no, 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 the young people, no, they won't. They want poly. They want a section. All they want to know is you got a section in the club. <laughs> That's all they want to yeah, know. You got a section, and they like niggas with bodies. If you got to, if you kill somebody, they love you. Damn. Really? The young, young ones, yeah, they love you if you're a smacker. Oh, wow. Oh, they love smackers, so they love scammers. So oh, yes. shit. So, but, so here's what. But you did hear about this the, poly shit going on with these oh, young everybody's people. everybody's doing it. It really? didn't just start with Will and Jada. Everybody's doing this shit. You do poly? It never works out because if see a woman, you know you get a loaf of bread. Yeah. That first bread. Right. If your mama catch you moving that first bread, she gonna make you eat that first bread. See, the women are moved the first two bread. They won't eat that, but they'll eat some pussy. I think every woman will eat some pussy. Really? I see them in the club. Look, remember we used to be in the pack jail on the wall with the girls? Yeah. They hoes be with each other like that now. Yeah. So you don't, they don't forgot you about don't like lesbian women? No, I, I, no that, that's a different form of it. They don't forgot about us, Luke. This some, is this some new shit here. I don't like it. Hey, this is what you raised right here. No, yeah. you raised this. But look, y'all don't blame. Y'all don't put it on me. They go, the, they go the problem with the women my age. Okay. The women your age. Here's the problem. This is why they mad. They broke up with their nigga because he's not in character no more. This is how he got in character. They told him. If a man mess with me, he gotta take care of my other kid. He gotta do this for me. He gotta pay my bills. He gotta do this here. He gotta suck this pussy. He gotta do all that. Go, go what a man do. Go in the cave, come out like Superman. He, he, everything she asked for, he pretending to be there. But even, but what if it's, it's cheaper to go to the strip club, right? You don't gotta deal with all that shit. Well, well, not Pay no the more. Three hundred dollars and pick what you want. But not no more because the nigga, because the man, the strip club managers. They going with these hoes now. It ain't like back oh, in the day. Shit. Yeah, they going with hoes. They don't oh, go with. Shit. We, you gotta understand, Luke. What you type of world? Oh, Luke, shit. This is what kind of world? So the we strip in. club managers fucking the girl. The strippers. I'm finna remind you. I'm finna show you what kind of what kind of world we in now, Luke. 
Luke. Here's the kind of world we in now, Luke. Okay, you took my first what kind of world? F-15. Really? Yeah, you took me to don't, my first don't, trip. Now you gonna get me put in jail. This motherfucker here for get me put in jail. See, that's why you don't let certain people in the kitchen while we cooking and shit. You don't let the motherfucker in the bed. Okay, Luke, the, Luke put me up. Man, that was, no, Luke took me in the motherfucking strip club and told me to get a lap dance. Did I make him give you some head? Nah, nah. So nah, look, nah. so here, 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 here go the thing now, Luke. Here, here's the thing now, okay. right? So here's the difference now. Okay, you meet a girl. Mm-hmm. You say what's up to her. Hey, what's that? Mm -hmm. Her friend. She asked her friend. You know a boy named such and such? See, 15 years ago, the friend of hate and be like, yeah, girl, he tried to talk to me. Not no more. Not no more? No, not no more. So the, don't the do girls are on the So you meet a friend, right? Tell the old girl. So the first thing they say is, girl, he got money. A girl, he drive a such and such car. And he like to identify um, the women as such and such girlfriend or such and such baby mama or, or, or something like that, right? So, so now this is how relationship starts. Back in your first girlfriend, in your mind, in school, you wrote a note, I like you, do you like me, yes or no? Right, right, right. Here's the new generation. Okay, here it is in Here's a new 2022. Generation. 2022, what's your name? Give me your number. I can't give you my number, give me your IG. Get an IG, go on a DM, DM him, she send a number, he call her, they go out a drink, they fuck one time, they go together now. Ain't nobody agreed on nothing. Really? That's why relationships don't last no more. But Ain't the old no. women, the old women use the apps now. You ever use the, the apps? old women? I, I see. I, I never. First of all, I would have been if I trusted that app. I'd have been the biggest fan <laughs> of Backpage because them all wanted the forty to sixty. <laughs> I'd go for the forty. I'm trying to get the DR right now because they say you can get you two for the hundred in DR. No, no, no. You got to go to Columbia for that. DR, DR Sap, for the, keep telling me no, to go D, to Columbia. Go to Columbia, Columbia. Oh yeah, go to Columbia. You been to Columbia yet? I ain't go yet. Oh, that'll be So we going show. together. We gonna go together. Hey, My homeboy there all the time. Dude, I be doing a radio show with. We should do a cooking show out there. In Columbia. Yeah. They not gonna understand it. It don't matter. <laughs> no, they gonna understand go. food. Okay, in Columbia, do. you go to Columbia we need to go. and, and I know feed we gonna everybody go. in here for $100. We gonna, well, we, we gonna go from Friday to Monday. That's gonna be yeah. enough time for That's us? gonna be enough time. But you got a coach? No, no, I got, I got no. I have off. a bye week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How your team looking this year? We looking good. We looking, looking good. good. Who's your right? most standout player? Cause I like to give all the shorties as much airtime as possible. Who your standout kid right now? One that's really been trying and actually getting better. Who that kid is? Well, the top kid on our team is the top uh, kid that just committed to Miami. He was. Originally committed to uh, Clemson. His name Ray Ray Nathan. Ain't okay, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, he jumped out the boat with Clemson and said he wanted to stay home. That's what it's about. All listen, parents. If you got a kid that's talented, everybody know. Check, check. Listen, go to the NFL. Go to NFL.com and put up all the teams and all the rosters, right? Mm -hmm. For the last 30 years. And you're gonna see a nigga from Florida on every team in the NFL. Most of them from Miami. And most of them is from Miami, Palm Beach, or Fort Lauderdale. That's right. That's right. You put up one of your players almost made me cry. Uh, Freeman. Freeman. Devontae Freeman. Freeman. Straight Freeman out came of the Green Project. He came to me. I was talking, he was like, man, you don't know who I am. He told me his mama name, I won't say her name. He was like, man, you know, when we was, when I was a shorty, you had saw my mama in the mall, and you gave her a hug, was like, girl, I ain't seen you since middle school, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And she was telling you either his daddy had just got locked up, or they had just broke up, but it was around school time. Right. And I was like, and she was telling you, was she was telling you that, and I'm like, tell her mama, mama, stop telling him that. He said, you told her, Saturday, meet me at the mall, and I got you, I'ma buy all that shit for him. Wow. And he said, when he got to the car, he said, mama, don't call that man, that man ain't go on. Um. He said, I didn't, I didn't get it. I didn't know who you were at the time. I didn't get it. Right. He, he said, that man, he said, my mama ain't call you, listening to me. He said, you called my mama and said, where you at? I'm at the mall. That shit almost made me cry, wow, man. Wow, wow. You know, he you told me that the shit at the, um, 
when VH1 was under the South thing. Right. He told me that that day, and I was like, damn, I couldn't even stand by the nigga, man. I was over there crying <laughs> like a little bitch. But you know, hey, look here, people don't realize how impactful it is when you reach out to these young people and you talk to them and and you be a, you, you know, you be a, 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 a an inspiration to them. You yeah, know? It, it, it's amazing yeah. because because one thing about it, when we were growing up, Luke, if y'all caught one of us cussing, first of all, if you two, three years older than me, you unk, yeah. and I'm saying yes, sir, to you. If, if a nigga two, three years older than me in the 80s say, go to the store, I got to go to the store. Definitely. If a lady told me to come here, I had to say, yes, ma'am, and go see what that lady wanted, wanted from right. me. That's right. disrespectful now. If I wanted to sell drugs growing up in the poker beans, one of them niggas would have beat my ass and told me, you better go home before, That's I, right. That's before right. I tell your mama. That's right. I done got ass whoopers about, I done got ass whoopers for my friend's mama that my mama never knew about because if my mama knew, she was going to beat my ass too. Again, you was going to get two ass whoopers in one night. It's, they don't, kids don't have that no more. Right. They don't have summer jobs, summer program. They ain't even got PE, man. No, it's crazy. They ain't got wood shop, a home egg, a, 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 a engine. The, Cooking. Uh, they don't got none of that in school no more. They ain't got band. They don't have band. Like, you got to fight have them, man. You gotta fight. Man, we gotta help our kids, man. Yep. Wow, that's crazy. We gotta help our kids. I'm used to going out to school in the morning and the little girls out there playing on the tennis ball machine. You know what they doing now? That's it. Texas. You go to a football game, look around. 80% of the people on the phone. Basketball game, 80%. Concert, everybody's recording. Nobody's enjoying the moment. You go everywhere they go. They, and, and you can rob them and kill them and kidnap them, anything on, on social media because they tell everything. On my way to the grocery store. Yep. Just got to the grocery store. On the produce aisle. Oh, hit me in the, the hospital. Cash register. <laughs> I'm at the hospital. I got robbed. Some petty ass nigga followed me from the grocery store. <laughs> Stalked me and followed me from the. No! He followed your instructions. You shared your location without even hitting the location button. Right now. Wow. Man, anybody, anybody interested? And the movement that that Luke got going on, me and Luke gonna start us a lot of programs. We trying to bring the youth back to where it used to be. We trying to help the city of Miami. And you heard it from Luke. What's the lady name? Who you you, you, you going Nikki for? Free. Nikki, Nikki Free. Nikki Free. We 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 supporting her. We support Nikki Free. She yeah. Come on. Nikki yeah, we need to vote yeah. Nikki Free. And all y'all be worried about voting for the president. As you see, the president got it the worst because he got to go against Congress. He got to go against the other parties and everybody. Everybody got to vote on it. Everybody. It starts right here in your front and backyards. That's right. The fix what's going on in the street start in your master bedroom. Stop letting any nigga get on top of you and shoot your club up. And you have baby from wrong fucked up ass niggas. You have some fucked up, funny looking, killer ass kids, <laughs> and you leave them out here to us. So you need to go and vote for commissioners, mm -hmm. go and vote for the mayors, mm -hmm. go and vote for all the small politicians. The most important one is the judge. The judges, yes. Judges are not, they are voted in. Mm -hmm. They are regular, regular people. Judges don't have law degrees. We are putting them on the stand and we're not voting on that. So their friends and their cousins and their homeboys and they kind is voting and they sitting up there sentencing our homeboys to the rest of their life in prison. Mm -hmm. We talking that real shit. Yeah, real shit. I got Uncle Luke, the man responsible for my career. I got CO. We talking that real cook. shit. Who can't cook? CO can't cook a lick. <laughs> but we right here on the cooking show. Bitch, I got my pot. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. We gonna eat some of this shit today. Come on, Raymond, go get your plate, man. Come on, get your plate. You know Raymond played for me. Yeah, he you vouched for him, but he was talking shit about. I know he come around here, Raymond. I know he was he was uh Brad. I know about him in basketball, but I ain't know the nigga. No, nah, Raymond was one of the baddest ever. Right he there. had baddest ever play on uh Liberty City Park. This motherfucker, he was a gangster. Well, CO not eating no food. CO eating rice. Yeah, I'm gonna eat rice. Don't eat yet. We gotta pray. That's right. And Luke, you got to Oh, you don't pray? You gotta pray. No, no, we're gonna let Trick do it. No, no Raymond, you're gonna say you I, that's why I call Raymond over. You're gonna say the prayer. You need it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, say the prayer. Did y'all pray, do y'all pray before y'all five one of them joints? Nah. So y'all smoke both no more. No? Nah, I smoke rapper weed. Look, you smoke rapper weed. Guys, hey, no, never, no, no, never smoke good rapper weed. Let's go. I smoked one time and shit, I had a fight and them niggas was moving slow. I, and that's my and that fault. That was it for me. That was my fault. That was his fault. 
I went and got a whole bomb. I said, we gonna smoke this shit, look. <laughs> Look what like, start moving slow. Oh shit. I gotta get my gun. That nigga said, you get all that shit. I don't want that shit. Get that shit out my truck. Come on, let's go, Raymond. Lead him, bro. The Heli Fosby's come here right now. Thank you for everything we've been through. Um, everything we've gone through and just coming together as um pillars in our community, helping to give back all his knowledge and good food. Uh bless Trick Hand for making the food in his heart. For having us here today on the show and thank Luke for creating a platform that just keeps on giving to the community. And now we're here. So thank you for all that. And I personally am thanking you for being a part of this. And I want to thank Trick and Luke for everything that they've done for me and the whole city of Miami. These never prayed with Amen. 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 Wow, that was deep. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right, now, you know I'm a food critic. Yeah, I know. Okay, this ain't my first time cooking for you. He used to cook all, he used to cook all the time in the condo. Mm. Oh, this is off the chain, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We well, done did it again. Nah, you got this on, on the menu at Sunday? I can't do that, because too much shit to be doing. And them days when the line, it be aggravated. They be wanting this shit right now. So you don't have an island day at the motherfucker? Maybe, maybe in the near future. You got a, a cooking, a cookout going on? I got a big cookout going on. Real soon. We gonna invite them. We gonna make sure we get the football players out there too. Gonna have food trucks. Really? We Concert. can't get in trouble for feeding the kids, right? No, oh, you can't get no. Yeah, we feeding the kids. They gotta eat. That's what's wrong with a lot of them now. They don't eat good at home. The stunt they grow. They they do a lot of smoking and they, they do white boy drugs now, Luke. They do opioids. What the fuck is it they smoking all those kids be skinny and shit? They they on perks. Oh. Percocets. Oh. Molly Percocets. And over in Columbia, they own some stuff called 2CD. 2CD? They don't even do cocaine no more. See, hey, you see this shit? He talking about Columbia because me and you going over here trying to discourage us. Because he married. <laughs> hey, that, that girl definitely ain't going to let him come with me. Not to Columbia. Movie we working on. I'm doing a lot of film shit now. We're going to do the, uh, we just got Freak Nick Green Lip. Y'all will probably see tricking some of them videos. Eating ass and shit. Oh, definitely. We got, uh, we gonna bring back Warriors of Liberty City. We, uh, then we, that's gonna be that on Hulu. Yeah, that, that, that was, that was, that's gonna be, I'm sorry, Hulu is gonna be, uh, Freak Nick. And then, uh, BET Plus is gonna be, uh, Warriors of Liberty City. And then, um, uh, I got a couple producers trying to do, uh, working on my scripted series. Cause I, I mean, I had a movie deal, but I didn't want that. So I figured, I, it just, it wasn't, it, a movie won't get all the stories. Right. I mean, you need a whole goddamn season to deal with Trick Daddy. Oh, <laughs> you know, you need a whole season with uh, Pitt. You need a whole season with Universe of Miami shit. Then Living City Optimist stuff. Then, you know, me being out there with the ghetto style DJs, we was a nice group. We didn't, we really didn't fight people. Right. Definitely my We ain't getting no trouble. Huh? Ghetto style DJ is what is but it is what his motherfucking say it is. Ghetto style DJ. You the first one to have a private plane too. Shout out JP and Chico. Yeah. JP died. No. Yeah. Yeah, JP died. Man, rest in peace, JP, man. Man, this is good. Baby said did too. Yeah. Hey, thank y'all for watching. Shout out to Uncle Lou. Raymond came and got him a free plate. <laughs> a free plate. CEO steady fucking shit up, ain't eating no bunch of rice. I feel sorry <laughs> for his ass. It's been a pleasure. If you ain't subscribed, hit the subscribe button right now. And just know this. 
Bitch, I got my pots. Ha <laughs> ha. got my pots. This is part of the show. We show y'all what we got cooking in our kitchen. Today, I got a Dade County representative, born and raised right here in the county of Dade. Go by the name of RT2. Yo, what's up, kid? What up, what up? What you gonna do today? I'm gonna just give a little something we've we'll been working on in our kitchen, right? That's right. So what you got going on? Like, tell me about your whole clique, because I know you be making a lot of music. A lot of people might not know what you do, but just explain to them what you do, what you got going on, just the platform. Uh, yeah, basically, I um, I saw a niche in, my, in Miami where people weren't as creative as I was. Mm. So instead of like complaining about it, I put together um, a team called Team Sport. And basically I was a cameraman, a songwriter, and then my brain. And then um, the songwriter happened to be a, a dope, 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 dope artist named Jazzy. She just signed with uh, Diddy okay. and Love Records. But Gotta get um, on here. Okay. we cooked up some stuff and it showed me the potential of my future. Like I saw my future and me coming from athletics where we don't have as much control over things. Right. I saw this being my future because I needed more control. I always had the talent and the dictator, I mean, the like discipline it takes to like be good at stuff. But now I got the That's team dope. to create. Well, and this is your gonna... platform, man. You got to do a song for us or something. You going to do something for us? Yeah, I'm going to do a song. Uh, I ain't finished, but Cracking Codes evolved into, I mean, Team Sport evolved into like Cracking Codes. Okay. So, so Cracking Codes. the song we doing right now? It's called What You Tripping For. Let's get it. No, I ain't trying to change you. I ain't tryna change you all that running around Girl, I can't erase the problems you face You could just add me to that list Drop in time, no case First, I'ma touch your body Then, I'ma fuck your face Why would I waste my time When you said it's all mine Everything was all fine I lost track of all time In between your thighs I uncover most lies Cause I don't want problems all the time what you crying for? You know I got you. What you bitching about? What we have for? They know we popping. Don't get this alone. Girl, I'm trying for you. Don't make me stop. Girl, I'm trying for you. Don't make me stop. What you tripping about? What you crying for? You know I got you. What you bitching about? What we have for? They know we popping. Don't get this alone. Girl, I'm trying for you. Don't make me stop. Yeah, I'm trying, please don't make me stop I ain't with the fuss, I'm fighting back and forth and all this fucking argument Don't forget who sacrificed their own shit just to see how fucking far you get Visualize it, manifest it, bucket list complete, I get to start again Conditional love, she acting different, change the number, probably never call again I don't mean to be the man, be the man I just want some understanding, understanding Tell me how you feel about that we can even chill, you ain't about that Ever since I was little, I was like that She gon' show me that she real, cause I like that If she pay her own bills, better wipe that Hard to find like a needle in a haystack Get that love into a real one, that's a life hack I'm a different type of nigga, get a hype back What you trippin' bout? What you crying for? You know I got you, what you bitchin' bout? What we high for? They know we poppin', don't get this a lot Girl, I'm trying for you, don't make me stop Girl, I'm trying, please don't make me stop What you trippin' about? What you cryin' for? You know I got you, what you bitchin' about? What we hidin' for? They know we poppin' Don't get this a lot Girl, I'm tryin' for you, don't make me stop Yeah, I'm tryin', please don't make me stop Peace and love and that's what we got cooking in our kitchen. RT2. Bitch, I got my pots. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha!